Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Snack Bengers. Um, so today we are tasting a healthy snack. Yay! Yay! Well, healthy is relative. Yeah, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if these are actually... I mean, yours might actually be healthy. Mine probably are not. Well, why don't you guys tell if, if you think these are healthy. Um, so we kind of have two reasons for trying these. Um, we got a recommendation from uh, one of my friends, Brittany, on trying these popcorners. However, we could not find them anywhere. We couldn't find them. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Target. We went to the supermarket. Uh, yeah, we can't find them. Uh, which then I saw this item in popcorn flavor, which reminded me of when I told you a little while ago, uh, rice crisps. Uh, like the rice snacks oh, are pretty with, popular with in my office. Rice, rice cakes, that's what I was trying to Yeah, they're pretty popular in my office. A lot of people snack on them. <sighs> um, and it reminded me of when I was little, there was a popcorn flavor of them that I loved. But I couldn't remember why I stopped eating them. I don't know if maybe they were temporarily discontinued or I grew out of the phase of them. I don't know. So I started looking them up, and it seems that Quaker still makes them. So now today, when we were looking for the popcorners, we found these mini ones, uh, mini rice cakes, that come in popcorn flavor. So, you know, I had to pick them up. And I picked up sacramen onion, because I love sacramen onion chips, so I figured these would be good also. And we figured, well, if I have a flavor, why don't you get a flavor? No video! Hey! hey. So, um, that's why we were saying maybe they're healthy. They're healthy to us. Healthier than something that we would normally snack on. Healthier considering every video we've made so far has been tasting junk oh, food. These are actually gluten free. That doesn't mean they're healthy. I'm just saying. <laughs> For a gluten-free audience. No, oh, true, for a gluten-free audience. And um, also no high fructose corn syrup. That's ba-bing. Uh, 13 grams of whole grains. Um, low cholesterol. I can't <laughs> speak. Cholesterol. Low cholesterol. I mean, looking at the, looking at the, um, cat, like the um, nutrition facts, mm -hmm. they don't seem terrible. So there's three servings per serving size, 18 pieces. Well, that sounds like a very large serving. But even with a serving that high, it's only 140 calories. Yeah, so maybe these are healthy. They're made with corn and whole grain brown rice, and they're bite sized and delicious. We'll see. Will be the judge of that. <laughs> so, as usual, unopened. Um, I think we're going to stick to. I'm just going to try mine. He's going to try his because I'm not a fan of sour cream and onion, so I have no desire to try his. Although, if you would like to try mine, you're more than welcome. Maybe. We'll see. So, do you want to go first? You can go first. I went first last time. Okay. So, they don't smell very popcorn-y from the smell. Do you smell buttery? No, it smells like the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like plastic, which is concerning. Yeah, I don't really smell any... Any notion of butter or of popcorn. And let me just tell you, too, I was really excited to try these. So now She's I'm, very excited. I'm getting worried because this whole ride home, uh, you know, of course we had to make a Starbucks stop. Duh. Dog. So through the Starbucks stop, I was all really excited to try these. So if these are disappointing, I'm going to be very upset. So maybe it's that I was smelling them in bulk. Let's smell maybe. an individual one. Uh, let's look at the texture first. It looks pretty much like your typical rice cake. Um, Just miniature. I don't smell like anything. No? No. Maybe it's taste. Judging by the reaction, they must be at least okay. They're okay. Um, I 
You know what the problem is, though? Because I think I'm trying to compare it to real popcorn. Oh, yeah. And I can't. can't. Exactly. <laughs> because when I first put it in my mouth, I did get that popcorn essence. But the more I chewed, the more I realized it is a rice snack. <laughs> Not popcorn. It ain't popcorn. Um, so I think it's good for what it is. But I feel like... I don't know. I think I probably should prefer this because it, to be healthier. Because it's healthier than eating straight popcorn. But if you want popcorn, it won't suffice. Yes. <laughs> that is exactly it. If you want popcorn, do not buy these. If you want these, buy these. But if you want popcorn, this will not suffice. So, I think I'm going to just snack on these. You can go right on ahead. What does yours smell like, sir? I get a little bit, of, I get a lot of sour cream and a teeny tiny bit of onion. This is why I won't try those. <laughs> Same thing. Looks like a typical rice cake, just miniature. You can really see those flecks of onion, whatever oh, the yeah. green is. Yeah, like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, individual, they definitely smell more like um, a normal sour cream and onion chip. Yeah, but I'm still not a fan, so. Mm. Oh, well that took a turn. <laughs> Initially, they're really good because it tasted like a sour cream and onion chip. And then the texture of the rice cake kicked in. Oh. And that's all I tasted. So it ruined it? Yeah. Like, they're, for what it is, it's okay. But I guess because it was the initial, like, the, my first time ever trying these, like, I wasn't sure what to expect. So what about... But it wasn't that. So maybe try another one. Now you know what to expect as far as texture goes. That was much better. Because you weren't surprised. Right. But, so here's the real question. So like I was saying, you know, if, if I wanted a snack on this just to have a healthier snack, then that'll be fine. If I wanted popcorn, I'd probably pick popcorn over this. Would you have those again? Yeah, probably. Oh, that's a good sign because I'm kind of, honestly, I'm kind of on the fence. <laughs> Maybe I need to have a little bit more and get back into the idea of having a healthier, better snack. Like, I'm kind of, I don't know if I would buy these again. But I, that's, think, I think I would buy these again. That's good. These are good. Oh, well then, looks like <laughs> we kind of, I think this is our first, like, iffy episode. You know, all of our other ones. I mean, we were kind of iffy on the oatmeal cookies. But at the yeah. end of the day, you still finish them because they're cookies. Duh, you don't yeah. let cookies well, go to waste. the thing with the oatmeal cookies was that... We're, com we're trying to compare them to the purple the ones. And uh, comparatively, yeah. they, didn't, they didn't match well, up. Well, yeah. They were good for what they were. But as a cookie, they were good. Yeah. So all of our trying videos so far have been pretty good. I'm kind of eh. You were eh at first, but you're still kind of liking them. So, you know, it's kind of good. Well, I personally think it's kind of good that we're getting some that we're kind of like eh about at first. Right. Where it's getting us exposed to other feelings. The feelings we need to feel. <laughs> um, so I think we're probably gonna just snack on these for a little bit longer. Um, I don't Actually, know. can I try those? Oh yeah! Ooh, yes! See what he thinks about these. Right off the bat, these definitely look puffier than these. Especially oh, like, yes, like considerably they do. like this one specifically compared to the other ones. Yeah, that's this true. This one definitely looks puffier. Mm -hmm. I guess it makes sense since it's butter popcorn flavor. Well, this one's not very puffy. This oh, that's true. I don't know. I don't Go know. ahead. We'll see. Yeah. They're kind of fall flat. And also the butter flavor that I'm getting is more margarine than butter oh i can't tell the and difference. it's not 
it doesn't work. Like if we're gonna use, if we're gonna name something like butter flavor, there's no margarine in this. Use butter. It just it tastes like margarine. There's literal butter in this. Oh, I don't. Butter and that. buttermilk powder. Oh, it just tastes fake. It doesn't taste good at all. So I guess if you like all flavors of things, you'll probably want to take this one, the sour cream and onion one. Um. If you're like me and you don't like those kind of flavors, <laughs> you should probably steer clear of these. Unless you'll like these. Who are we to judge? Everybody's we don't know that you won't like these. Clearly they're being made for a reason. Um, but you know what? I guess they're just not for us. No. But we tried. We yes, tried. we did. Um, and if there's anything else that you'd like us to try, please let us know in the comments. Um, like and subscribe to us so we can keep making these videos for you. Um, and I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.